At least 12 people were killed and nearly 3,000 wounded in Lebanon on September 17 when thousands of pages exploded almost simultaneously across Lebanon. On September 18, 20 more people were killed and hundreds injured when handheld radios used by Hezbollah also detonated across Lebanon. Hezbollah has blamed Israel, who have declined to comment as of yet. Israel's intelligence agencies have used communication devices as tools for monitoring, surveillance and assassinations previously. In 1972, Mahmoud Hamshari, the PLO's representative in Paris, was targeted in retaliation for the murder of 11 Israeli athletes at the 1972 Munich Olympics. Israeli intelligence secretly replaced the marble base of his home phone with an explosive-laden replica. When Hamshari answered a call on December 8, the Mossad team remotely triggered the bomb, severely injuring him. The blast cost Hamshari his leg and he later died from his injuries. In 1996, Israel's Shin Bet tricked Yehia Yesh, a Hamas bomb maker, into using a rigged cell phone. They manipulated a Palestinian informant to deliver a Motorola Alpha cell phone to Ayesh in Gaza containing about 50 grams of hidden explosives. When Ayesh answered a call from its father, the bomb was triggered, killing him instantly. Another example was in December 17, 2000. Fatah activist Samihan Melabi was assassinated by a bomb hidden in his mobile phone. It exploded next to his head. Since October 8, 2023, Hezbollah and Israel have been trading attacks across the southern Lebanese border. The ongoing violence has displaced tens of thousands of people.